drive, an innate biologically determined urge to attain a goal or satisfy a need. Welcome everyone. I hope you enjoy my channel. All right, so I'm just basically taking down this tarp. I'm gonna try my best to record this. Um, I don't have my tripod, so my car, my car, my camera is on top of my car right now. Um, but I'm gonna try my best, you guys, to um, record everything as far as taking um, the tarp off to unscrewing the roof. I'm definitely gonna work on um, the roof today. Um, again, hopefully I can get footage of it. If not, I do apologize ahead of time. Um, I'm on a strict schedule. <laughs> um, as you guys know, I've already had my baby, so um, my little sister and my mom is in the house with her. She's taking a nap, but um, if any time I have to cut and stop, you know what I'm saying, it's because I gotta go tend to my baby. Um, but right now, I have to get the couple of bricks off of the roof and take it from there. So, I yeah, hopefully you guys can see me. I will find my tripod real soon because um, I really do need it. So, bear with me. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not going to get what I want, but it's okay. Okay, so after I had my baby, Serene, in July, in August, I went back to work on the RV. Also, I wanted to mention that you'll see in these clips here that I'm very slow and I'm just very redundant with my words, but after having a baby, you know, the exhaustion and the tiredness was real, I'll be honest. Okay, as you guys can see, I was trying to get the bricks down and I throw something else down, but I think that was from um, just working the day before or, you know, stuff that was just up there extra like leaves and stuff like that. Also, the bricks were to hold the tarp down because, you know, it did rain the day before. And so, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I cannot talk today. This video was about 10, maybe 15 minutes long. So I'm still trying to give y'all some real footage now. I want y'all to kind of understand how long it takes to put in the energy and getting a tarp off an RV, especially after you have a baby. If you're a female, it's going to take you a while, but you have to be patient and I just want to give y'all some just realistic <laughs> insight right now.
So I am still trying to get the tarp down. Um, so much water from the tarp. But it's okay. I'm gonna have to keep going because the ants and spiders on top have literally been feasting on this thing. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. Of course, as normally, you have your bar and all of these things. Got the screws out of here. Just got to do this piece right here. And then we'll work on getting these vents up and out. So we got the AC, that bar, that little piece, that one, and that one. Okay, so I'm just trying to get to this screw. As y'all can see, sorry, that screw is just filled with lots and lots of caulking. So we're going to get that off today. It got to go. Um, So, it's a screw underneath here that I'm trying to get as well. Trying to do this with one hand is not easy, but I'm trying to give y'all some type of action. It's like on there like chewing gum. And again, this is where the um, ladder was connected to. And as y'all can see, I got another one screw right here. So I'll be back to show y'all more.
that came up with absolutely no problem from right there. So now I just got to work on that one and you knit it. We're gonna go to that one next. All right. So I got that one screw out on the other side. So now I'm just gonna pull this out. And the whole bar is now detached. All right, so now I have this vent right here. That vent, I'm gonna try my best to get to. If not, I'm going to come over here and work on this. Since I'm on this side, I probably will work on this next. And a lot of RVs, these come up fairly easy as well. So, yeah. Also, I kind of want to show y'all my process. And what I'm going through here, I have my gun right here and my scraper. Um, yeah, you're going to make sure that your drill bit is the right um, size and you have the right um, one so you can get these screws out of here. Um, I don't really know what the heck this was really for they say these are antennas back in the day but it's gonna have to go as well I'm really not sure if I want to work on that vent over there or just work on this since I'm on this side um I'll be back but first I do want to show y'all I'm on a ladder I don't know if y'all can get me going up and down this ladder, but <sighs> that's probably time consuming, but I just want y'all to know, like, it's all going to be time consuming and it's going to be a lot of work, but whew, it's possible to get through it. I think I'm going to work on the air vent and just whatever comes up next so i'll be back okay so this has the screws like this or bolts rather and all of this is top down but as you can see, like, this is really cracked. So water can easily slip in. Um, as you can see, this caulking is so old and thin, especially like right here. And I'm just gonna take the um, spatula here and just try my best to kind of just get this cocking up and hopefully this will come up without a problem it should so. okay all i can do is laugh at myself at this point i know i said that the drill was the gun but it's a drill gun <laughs> or just a drill i'm just crazy and um, I know I called it the scraper in the beginning, but then I called it a spatula. I don't know. I'm just laughing at myself <laughs> now that I'm going back looking at it. Um, this is into the next day, August 12th, but I didn't want to put it up because I was like, oh, man, they're going to come for me because I got the same clothes on. But, y'all, the struggle was real, and these are my work clothes, and I didn't care. So, anyways... <laughs> What's understood ain't really got to be explained. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody would have figured it out in the comments. 
somebody would have figured out in the comments and they would have came for me but i'm gonna just go on and throw it in the video so we can just get it out the way all right As y'all can see, the struggle was real trying to get the washers and screws off. I do struggle with this for a little minute. I try not to bore you guys too, too much, but I want to at least get this in. So again, y'all can see how time consuming this can be. Eventually, it comes off. All you have to do, just stay committed to it and dedicated to it, and you will get through it. I understand, you know, this was in August. It was very hot that day, tired, didn't really want to do it, but I was, I was getting it. I was so proud of myself because... I needed to get this stuff off the roof. This original roof, it was horrible, as y'all can see in the back. Like, oh my God, that dip right there was, oh my goodness, it was bad. I am burning up. I had to take my mask down. I'm sweating everywhere. Around my nose, mustache. But as y'all can see, this is coming up. And this is the back vent. So all of this has to come out. As y'all can see, the vent is open on the inside, but I'm gonna have to get all this caulking and stuff up. And like I said, I'm gonna try to record some of it but you guys kind of get the idea already and i know it's already a thousand rv videos already on youtube for y'all to watch but if y'all have any questions on how i got everything up and all that just please let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to answer all of that for you but i'm definitely gonna have to get rid of this um covering for this vent um because yeah rain can get in there with no problem um i probably will keep like this i guess that helps keep the bugs out so i'll definitely probably keep some of it but definitely got to get rid of um all the coverings like this for the vent is just chipped off and again we want to waterproof that. I wasn't trying to tear that off, but I did. So it's really going to have to be replaced. Um, so, yeah. This is where I'm at. Um, I still got my way to go. Okay, I kind of rushed this clip because I was getting tired and hot that day. I was ready to take a break. On the driver's side, that pipe went to the black water tank for the toilet. And then on the passenger side, that pipe went to the shower and eventually i'm gonna try to get to this one if not um sometime this week um i wanted to keep track of the time it's 11 y'all probably can't even see it on my phone it's august 12th it's 11 in the morning um i'm pretty much in the shade <laughs>